discount prices. Well, special of all the great arguments sort of surrounding this whole BCS system is, should a team with two losses be considered for the national title? And if Colorado wins tomorrow, of course, they still have those two losses. They'll make the claim for at least a piece right. of the national title. What do you think? Well, Oregon would have two losses as well, so I think they would still have a beef. But at that point, I think you'd have to look at the winner of that Miami-Nebraska game mm -hmm. as the undisputed uh, champion of the NCAA football tournament this year. What do you guys think? Brad Adam, Joe John Sade back in Tempe. What do you guys think about that? Well, we talked about it before, guys, and I agree with you. I don't think there's any way, and Joe agrees, too. I'll speak for you, Joe, by the way, that no way Colorado with two losses should be a national champion. I mean, you can't forget the early season defeats. Nobody with two losses, I don't think, should win, no matter how good they're playing at the end of the year. Remember, Oregon State last year probably playing the best ball of anybody. They crushed Notre Dame in the Fiesta Bowl, yet, you know, the early season losses did them in. That's just kind of the way it works right now. The BCS system, let's face it, it doesn't work. Talking about the game tomorrow, the Colorado, they run, they run, they run because they're very successful. When they do throw the ball, they've got an All-American tight end that they like to throw to, and why not? I mean, Daniel Graham is outstanding. His first touchdown of his career against the Oregon Ducks back in the Aloha Bowl. Now his dad, Tom, has seen every single game his son has played, except one. You see, Tom went to the University of Oregon, played linebacker. He was pretty good as well. In fact, he was inducted into the Oregon Sports Hall of Fame. That's the one Colorado game he missed. So he's kind of divided allegiances here tomorrow. Drew Goodman has a story. The last college football game that Daniel will play mm -hmm. is against the University of Oregon, where you just went into their Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. where you had an outstanding career. For, before we get to the NFL stuff, how special is that for you? Him playing against the Ducks? Yeah. Well, I could, and who are you rooting could for? Be, well, and who number are you one, it could be for? bittersweet. See, because <laughs> I've been watching, you know, and listening, and everybody saying that the Buffs just going to go run roughshod over the Ducks. The Ducks don't lay down for nobody. Okay? We call the Fighting Ducks, and everybody got their feathers. Okay? And as far as, you know, who I'm rooting for on that one. Um, you haven't decided yet, have you? <laughs> yeah, I've decided. I, I, I've decided for... Because Maryland will kick you out of the I, house if you don't make the right the decision. I year out being a Buffalo. Right. But the remainder right. of the uh, 200 right and 364 the days or whatever, I will be a duck. Grab. Once a duck, always a duck. Once a duck, always a duck. Graham, what a catch! Touchdown! He readjusted! Could you cover him? <laughs> okay. First of all, <laughs> Russ Francis is one of the best tight ends to ever play. Okay? Zilch. He caught zilch, okay, in the game against us, and he was crying about it, too. Russ never caught nothing against me. Uh, when I went to the Chargers, Riley caught one ball against me, and uh, no, I could cover them and could cover you back then and now. <laughs> and there's no response. He he knows. Still, right, right, exactly. he knows. <laughs> you know, I had to respect my father, so. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> So the Ducks will have their hands full with the All-American tight end. When we come back on our Fiesta Bowl preview, live from the block party, yes, it's Tostitos Fiesta Bowl, so everybody getting free Tostitos as they start to file into the park here in Tempe. When we come back, we talk more tight ends. Josh Wilcox, the former Oregon tight end, drops by and gives his prediction and kind of his knowledge and what this means to the Oregon program. Keep it right there. who invite you to test drive the new Chevy cars and trucks. All right, guys, welcome back. Josh Wilcox here, the former Oregon tight end. He scores a touchdown on the 95 Rose Bowl against Penn State. Yeah. And I tell you what, you know, you make us look bad. We got the jackets on. He's a tough big guy. <laughs> What's up? You know, anyway, all right. Give us a prediction. Talk about what this means to the Oregon program, win or lose, and we, do you think they will win? I want to know where you got a jacket at, first of all. I mean, that's big stuff. <laughs> we'll get you one of those. Like, <laughs> no? I can't one? get official duck I, I guard. I got a members only one back at the uh, house, so I don't know. Talk um, about this. Well, you know, the thing is, is Oregon's in a uh, bowl game, finally. Uh, they, I guess you could say they got gypped or whatever. There's so much stuff about the BCS, but it's it's every year years it's some somebody's turn to complain about it. it was our turn, and we should have blocked pump protection. So we can't complain about anything. It, all that's done. We're playing a tough Colorado team who I've been throttled by before when I played, and um, you know you can't let it down. You can't worry about what anybody else says. It's a game. It's a bowl game. It's a Fiesta Bowl. And didn't get much better than that. So who's going to win? Well, Oregon, of course. <laughs> I mean, I'm not as dumb as I look sometimes. But uh, you going to be close? I think it's going to be real close. I think Oregon has to make sure that they can stop Daniel Graham. Because uh, outside, I think our corners match up well. But inside, if Graham can 
get past our linebackers and our safeties. That's going to create a lot of problems on play action, and especially with the running game Colorado has. Josh, enjoy the block party again the game tomorrow. Thanks for dropping by. Hey, anytime. Right. You know, I don't know about you two guys, but I'm going to really enjoy that block.